Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another weather forecast. And in this forecast, we will be focusing on yet another very large and significant cold front that actually will finally bring in air relief for the western United States. And this will most likely bring a very widespread, very cold and frigid Halloween for much of the United States. Here, It's going to be a very large and long-lasting cold front here that can bring in potential snowstorms as well. So it could very well be a snowy and cold Halloween throughout the United States here, depending where you live. But this cold front will affect much of the United States, no matter where you live at some point in Halloween week. Starting this week, but still going to be lasting as far as Halloween week. So we're going to be looking at this big cold front. Who will get the hit? Uh, who get hit the hardest? Is there a chance for snowstorms for this uh, to create and support snowstorms? Could it bring in extremely frigid negative digits? I mean, that's exactly what we'll be looking at in this video. But without further ado, let's get into this forecast. So here's a look now at the 6 to 10 day outlook. This is from October 23rd to October 27th. Like I did say, it's going to be coming in by later this week here. It's actually going to be coming in rather soon, the next 48-ish hours. But as you see, I mean, it's going to bring in a big relief for the West United States. They have not had a cold from the Southwest for a few months. I know we've had cold fronts for the Northwest and General West. But I mean the South was like Death Valley, like Arizona, Utah, New Mexico. They haven't had a cold front there in a few months that has actually been long lasting. This will be pretty long lasting, but look at this major cold front going to be dipping in, not just for the West, but all the way up into the Midwest. So it's going to bring in very widespread cold temperature. So this is going to be for the end of this week to the beginning of Halloween week. And I see later on by actually Halloween weekend, since Halloween's on a Saturday, by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, these areas that are in above average temperatures, they will get the heart of this by Halloween. So, yeah, you may say, oh, I can't wait to have a very cold Halloween in Arizona or Nevada. Well, actually, by the time it actually comes to Halloween, the cold front will actually be in the southeast and east coast, but still going to have a very cold few days here for the general areas of the Midwest, especially the Midwest and Northwest, including the Rockies and Sierra. It's very cold. can very well see well below freezing temperatures and also well below negative temperatures, but we do have so far an 80 to 90 percent chance for above or sorry for below hours temperatures but that will likely change to a 90 to 100 percent chance very very soon here because this is definitely going to bring in uh temperatures to support a cold front or sorry temperatures to support a snowstorm or two since it is so long lasting we can very well see frequent snowstorm patterns that just come into the midwest and the plains so is there is a chance for a October snowstorm or October week snowstorm just like last year. Last year we had a Halloween blizzard for the Midwest and it came from the exact pattern. It came from the exact pattern when the cold front came in and if any almost exact areas here. So the, the probability of having a, a snowstorm or two on Halloween week, maybe even ha Halloween day is definitely possible for the Midwest and Pacific Northwest. but. A relief for the West. Uh, gonna, it's going to be a warm start to Halloween week for those areas in the East and South Central. But by the time it actually comes two days before Halloween or Halloween Day, it'll be rather cold. Speaking of the Halloween Day and Halloween weekend, this is tw the 25th to the 31st. So like I did say, this will be moving in by Halloween Day all the way up into the East already. So moving into the South, the Southeast moving into the Ohio Valley. And like I said, it's going to start to warm up a little bit. So you may be seeing a cold start to Halloween week up there in California or Oregon, the West. But by the time it actually comes to Halloween day, it'll most likely be slightly warmer to average. So don't get your hopes up for a very cold Halloween. But you will get your hopes up because it'll finally be a relief from the above average temperatures. It must be nice to actually have a blue or dark or, or not dark orange a dark blue or a light blue or grayish color it's going to be nice to have one of those finally in months to actually have that there but 
as see by the end of Halloween week, or much of Halloween week in general, from October 25th to the 31st, the coldest part will most likely obviously be in the Midwest, and for areas of the Rock, he's going to be seeing already a 70 to 80 percent chance for above, oh, sorry, below average temperatures for the Midwest there. Obviously, that will most likely become a bit more widespread, and obviously we'll get maybe at that point to a 90 to 100 percent chance for below average temperatures. But still, this cold front, like I said, going to be very large and long lasting, and be fitting still much of the United States. Like I did say, overall, the United States will have a very cold Halloween and Halloween week. Because it's going to be affecting all the way from the Pacific Northwest, Southwest, to all the way up into the areas of the Great Lakes, all the way up to the Southeast. I mean, going to be very widespread from the Pacific Northwest to Seattle, all the way up into the Gulf of Mexico. going to be extremely widespread. Going to obviously bring cold temperatures, especially overnight hours. Obviously, you're thinking about, oh, overnight high. It's not going to be that cold. But trust me, once you get to the below hours, once you get to the um, overnight hours, when Halloween trick-or-treating becomes active, you will definitely feel the below average temperatures and very cold here. It's going to go from warm, thinking, oh, I'm going to have to wear shorts for a costume, and then, boom, drops in the 40s, 30s, 20s, and all the way up to the Pacific Northwest and the, um, and the Rockies. Believe it or not, negative digits. So it's going to be dangerously cold for some areas, chilly, cold, and cool for, uh, for some other areas. In general, not going to be a super warm Halloween uh, not just for one state, but for the whole United States, mainly United States, not including Alaska and Hawaii. In general, it'll be a mild to very cold Halloween based on how many states will get affected by that seven-day time frame. So let's see how big this cold one actually is. Like I did say, it's going to start coming in a few hours here, or the next around 40-ish hours. They're going to start bringing some cold temperatures there for portion of the Midwest, but this is just the first half of this cold front here obviously the worst of it's going to be arriving after this six to five day time period but like i said it's going to be a warm uh week for the airs in the east and the west it's, it's going to be a rather warm week for many but as we get to the end of this week to the start of next week it's going to be a huge change here so here it is coming on friday october 23rd it gets starting to get starting to get into the united states and it's going to come in really just already coming in hard with around 16 to 20 degrees below average for portions of the Rockies. You're going to start bringing in uh, 5 to 10 degrees below average for other areas like Oregon, all the way up to the Wisconsin area. And that's going to create some really warm temperatures for these areas out here into the east. And um, to the east, it's going to create a big warm front, which is obviously a typical pattern. The worse that cold front is, the stronger that cold front is, the obviously the stronger the warm front will begin. So, in order to get to a cold front, you have to get through a warm front first. That's just the sad part. You can't just get there uh, without getting spared of warm temperatures. But the worst of the, that heat will be more for the Great Lakes and Northeast, not the Southeast for once. But, I mean, look at that cold front. We're not focusing on the warm front on this video. We're looking at the cold front. I mean, look at that 25 to 28 degrees below average. I mean, that is a massive cold front. This is the 23rd, still the same day. The 24th, it's kind of just staying there all the way to Texas, now dipping all the way to Texas now. Starting to see the below average temperatures getting across the West Coast now. So finally seeing purples and blues for the Southwest here. I mean, that just must be a relief for many there. And then now the, now the North starts to get into the action. But, I mean, look at that. All of Canada, all of what we see of Canada, not the whole country, Canada, obviously, but what we see all of southern canada will be impacted by this cold front this is just how massive it is and the reason this is going to be such a long lasting cold front is because all of southern canada will be affected by it it's not like it's just half of it so then it kind of gets pushed out earlier this is going to be a lot longer lasting than cold front this time because it's going to be affecting so large areas it's going to take a while to actually get taken over by a warm front but I see still the South, it's going to get still not, still going to be the only part of the country that it has not got into the party, but that will all change later into the week, October 27th. I mean, look at the size of this, but now, now that it's cold, it's slightly moving, then you're going to start seeing that warmer coming back now, popping back up for the West, popping back up for Northern Mexico, and that's going to start coming in back in. And meeting back in the southwest once this large cold front moves out of the way 
and get to the east. So it seems as if it's going to be a warm Halloween for those in the east coast. It, that's what it seems like. Because, I mean, October 27th, October 28th, you're still getting very warm temperatures. But trust me, the day after the 28th, it's going to be completely different. It seems as if you guys are going to get a super warm Halloween. That's not what you want. You want a cold Halloween. Well, if you're in the east coast and the midwest and general areas of the plains you get you will get that you're gonna get just in time there by october 28th three days before halloween just been getting the action there october 29th well below our temperature for the southeast there and it's gonna be about october 30th it's still there obviously the day before halloween but very sad for the west you guys were finally getting a cold front out there finally and obviously the best time of the best time of the month to get a cold for an obviously the halloween week it seems as if you're gonna get a, a very cold warm or a very a very cold halloween it's promising the whole week's gonna be cold how how would it not affect halloween well that cold front's gonna be moving in faster to the east and that is gonna bring in warm temperatures the day before halloween but let's check out halloween day here if it actually loads, actually it still gets to load, but this is the night of the 30th. I mean, that warm air is moving in real fast, so it's going to be completely different, but there it is, that cold one still sticking around for the east and midwest there for a below hours temperature, uh, uh, really, um, below hours temperature hauling, but it's just, it's just funny how it's going to switch so much. It seems that the east is not going to get a cold Halloween. I mean, look at this, this is October 26th. This is October 27th. I mean, it seems as if it's going to be swapping here. It Based on what you see here on the 27th, it looks like the West will obviously get a cold Halloween. It, it looks like these areas will get a really warm Halloween. Well, the day before Halloween, it completely switches. I mean, look at that. It just completely switches within a two-day time frame. It, it, it's just going to be a huge change. So, very lucky if you're in the East Coast there. If you're in that circle right here, very, very lucky. You guys are going to get that cold just days before halloween so you guys can actually get that fall vibe but unlucky for the southwest and portion of the west you guys can get you guys are lucky and unlucky from the west obviously and very lucky you're gonna get a big cold front it's gonna end the the streak of the warm air but the bad news is it's gonna move out by the time it's gonna move out before halloween so you're gonna be seeing most likely even warm halloween so i think it's gonna go from uh 10 to 15 degrees below average to 10 to 20 degrees above average just like that that normal pattern is back that warmer there in southwestern canada that is going to bring in a big warm front for the first week of november most likely here but let's go check out now the two temperature anomaly so here's a look at the two temperature anomaly let's go ahead and just go all the way straight to the end of this week here so this is friday october 23rd i mean look at this really cold temperatures you can see that that first part, uh, that first big part of that cold from there already bringing in really cold temperatures. Look at that. 8 degrees, 2 degrees, negative 1 degree for a portion of Yellowstone. I mean, it is going to be really cold area out there in Yellowstone as well. going to be getting negative 8 degrees. Extremely cold. And it's going to continue to advance there. As you see, you're now going to start seeing negative 1 degrees for Montana, 0 degrees for Wyoming. 19 uh, degrees for portions of Oregon. This is going to really bring some cold, needed temperature for the southwest and west. But it might get too cold. I mean, look at that. Negative 12 degrees, negative 15 degrees. They're starting to see now double digits uh, reaching now. Uh, sorry, not, I mean, single, di single digits reaching the Dakota, single digits reaching Colorado, Nebraska. Going to start seeing single digits now for Nevada. You think of Nevada as desert and Area 51. Well, it's going to be really cold for Nevada there. You think of just desert? Well, uh, believe it or not, the deserts get really cold. Six degrees, negative digits for areas of Utah. Seeing 30s for Southern California. 30s in single, uh, sorry, 30s in teens for Nevada. Single digits for New Mexico. I mean, it's as if we're so used to. We're so used to triple digits in these areas for months. It's weird to think that they actually get a winter. It's really weird to think about that. How that that, that warmth has just stayed there so long. That's so weird to actually think that they get cold temperatures at this time of the year. They do. It's just, it's that's how frequent these warm fronts have been. But finally, a relief 
20s for air to the Pacific Northwest, and then that cold air by October 28th is going to rush into the eastern United States now. 26 degrees for northern Georgia, uh, below freezing temperatures for northern Louisiana, guys. Northern Louisiana, they're seeing dead winter temperatures days before Halloween. That is something you don't see much. You don't usually see 20s in northern Louisiana in October. That That's not something you see at all on a regular year basis. That's That just does not happen. And not only, not even that, they don't even see 20s uh, as their average in December or January. They don't usually get to those temperatures at all uh, on the yearly average. So I mean, it's it's weird. They're they're when you think, ah, oh, Adrian, it's just winter temperatures for the West, not every area. Well, yeah, there's gonna be winter temperatures for every area that's gonna impacted by this cold front. Single digit for uh, for Minnesota there, and these cold temperatures continue there. Gonna see now well below freezing temperatures today. I'm actually gonna be seeing 28 degrees the right there, October 29th. The thing is, I have a rate October 29th. I don't want it to be 20 degrees there. <laughs> and then we do see these temperatures up there in the west start to calm down a little bit. Not gonna be seeing those dead, uh, those uh, those crazy negative digits there. But then this cold front starts to come to an end. The day before Halloween, obviously, for the West, now you're seeing 60s and 70s pop up. Those single digits in Nevada now turning to 30s. Huge difference there. It's going to be a roller coaster. And then those 20s out there in the Southwest, I'm sorry, the Southeast is going to turn into those upper 30s and lower 30s. But this is Halloween night. These are the uh, Halloween night lows here, I believe. Uh, I believe these are the Halloween lows. Right there, so 34 for northern Georgia, uh, 20s and teens for these areas. I mean, this is just going to be crazy. Just It's going to be a roller coaster. I mean, look at that. Days before Halloween, we're seeing uh, 20s, single digits for the west. And then the day before Halloween, it goes from those really cold temperatures. Now, 70s, 80s, 86. I mean, that is, that's a roller coaster of events. I mean, you're going to be seeing a, the 50 degree difference there. I mean, look at that. I mean, those areas where you have 80, they're seeing 44 degrees. They're going to be seeing uh, those low 50s, and then they see 80s, almost 90s. I mean, that is just a roller coaster of events there. I mean, same thing for the east. I mean, you're seeing, let's see, they're going to be seeing up to 85 degrees for Louisiana on those 26. 88 degrees for southern Texas, 80 degrees for northern Texas there. Upper 70s for this, the uh, southeast on the 27th. And then you see the 28th. Those exact same areas would not be seeing below freezing temperatures. Look, this little area right here that's seeing 34 degrees, they had 87 degrees two days before. I mean, that is a 50 degree difference. I mean... It's going to go from extremely cold in the west to very warm. From very warm in the east, days before Halloween, to a frigid Halloween. I mean, it's going to be a big roller coaster of events. Let's just say that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and bye, guys.